Mark, this is shocking stuff. Yeah, whichever way you look at it, Sean, this report is shocking and damning. It's uncovered highly offensive messages sent by police officers on different chat groups. Now, to put them into context, we're talking about messages referring to rape and ones involving sexist, racist and homophobic language. Now, they initially came to light following an investigation into alleged misconduct back in 2018. And what has unravelled since then is a serious issue of standards and culture that the Met will be grappling with here this evening and that is because the independent office for police conduct has said the behavior we uncovered was disgraceful and fell well below the standards expected of the officers involved our investigation showed the officers use of banter became a cover for bullying and harassment we are grateful to those officers who were brave enough to speak to us about the cultural issues that existed within these teams now, we've been getting reaction to all of this from one former detective superintendent at the Met. I think uh, officers that behave in a certain way within social media, whether it be on Facebook groups or whether it be on WhatsApp, um, I think there are far more of those groups uh, across policing, not just within the Met Police, but I think across the UK. And, Mark, this comes at a rather difficult time for the Metropolitan Police, isn't it? Yes, the way they've handled the investigation into Partygate has been criticised by some. Well, there's currently a review going on into standards and culture at the Met following the murder of Sarah Everard. And now this, highly offensive messages sent by police officers working around this area in Westminster. We must say the teams they were working in have since been broken up and the officers involved disciplined. But what may alarm some tonight is, you know, these were officers there to protect us and uphold the law and they're behaving in this kind of way. The Met Police have described their behaviour as unacceptable and say they know there is a lot of work for them to do to try and ensure that bullying and harassment does not exist in any part of the Met. OK, Mark, thank you.